porque el presidente de ahora actual, Pablo Trump, quiere sacar a uno, entonces uno tiene que ser ciudadano para no poder salir de aquí. My dad, 50-year-old Cesar Gomez, came to the U.S. 30 years ago with a green card granting him permanent residency, but he never became a citizen. Cuando llegué a este país, mi sueño era echar para adelante, progresar y tener un buen futuro. He tried to take the citizenship test twice, but he failed because of his limited English. Recently, when he turned 50, a new world of possibilities opened up. Ahora yo no veo que todavía se puede y trata de, 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 de echar para adelante. When you reach 50 and have lived in the U.S. as a permanent resident for 20 years, the law allows you to take the test in your native language. No es que fácil porque hay que estudiar, pero por lo menos voy a tener conocimiento de lo que estoy estudiando porque en español lo, lo voy a coger. ¿Con qué nombre se conocen las primeras 10 enmiendas a la Constitución? La Carta de los Derechos. My mom helps my dad study, and he wants to feel confident before he signs up to take the test again. La vida, la libertad. La, libertad. la busca de la felicidad. Many people, like my dad, have a difficult time facing the challenges of the immigration test. An estimated 8.8 .8 million residents have green cards and need to take the test. At the Harlem YMCA, Natalie Patillo volunteers to help people prepare for the test. You have to submit a uh, application that is like 20 pages long with very, very specific questions about where they're from, who their spouse is, who their former spouse is, if they have been married before, who their children are, where, where their children live. Um, I mean, which seems all basic, but if, um, you know, you don't have an interpreter or you don't have extra money to pay an immigration lawyer, that can be really, really challenging. Natalie, a journalism grad student at Columbia, hopes to write a book about the citizenship process through the eyes of the people she's helping. Damn, this test is hard. Like, they, I, I like actually don't even know how they pull it off. Like, sometimes I'm like, how are they able to learn so much so fast? And like, it's dense stuff. In the meantime, back home, my dad studies and hopes to take the test in a year. El tiempo es bueno para ser ciudadano, porque así, mientras más, más inmigrantes hay haciendo ser ciudadano, la comunidad hispana inmigrante aumenta más. Y así ya para los cuatro años, cuando venga el tiempo de votar, ya uno puede tener el derecho al voto. My dad and others understand the importance of their voices in the American electoral process. Chantal Gomez, City College News.